To start with masking mode, we'll click on the site, we'll click on mask based, and for now we're going to use our grocery store preset. So what we're going to see if we click over here, we'll left click on the building, and we'll drag that around. We'll also see that we have this piece over here on the top, which we can drag from here. We can right click and change its orientation if needed. What we're also going to see on this preset is if we click inside of this setback right here, we call it an offset, and zoom in, you can see we can go in and we can change the kind of offset of that building. If we want to redefine this space, we can go over here, we'll click on the space. Right now it's called a free shape with a draw outline or draw path. We'll draw an outline, which you can then define and align your tools. As you can see, as we draw that across, we'll finish up that building right here. There's also a draw path offset, which we can define that area click inside of the circle to finish, and then define how deep of the path we want. You can see how it's added that onto there. If we want to add a new space, we'll click Add. We'll add a space. We'll change it from Fill to Free Shape, and we'll draw that outline. Now if we wanted to interact with the other space, we'll make sure that we put this on level 1. And if I move this up and down, you can see it's below the parking. Move it above the parking, it's going to be inside of there and reacting to it. If these are now overlapping pieces, the same idea happens. If I put this above that, you can see it's kind of taking priority. So this idea of layer hierarchy, 